Hi everyone, this is Amit from Thousand Eyes. In this video, we will review the Amazon AWS outage from Friday, March the 2nd. What you're looking at here is a Thousand Eyes HTTP server test to the uh, Amazon EC2 console uh, for the US East 1 region. And we're looking at availability to this URL from about 20 different cloud agent locations across the globe. And what we see happen here at about uh, 6.25 a.m. Pacific, 9.25 a.m. Eastern is we're starting to see availability issues from a few different locations, uh, mostly clustered around kind of the Ashburn, Virginia area. So we can see here St. Louis is having problem, but problems, but Chicago is okay, and then New York is okay, and then Charlotte's having problems. So it's, it's a very localized problem. All of the other locations seem to be doing fine. And then about 15 minutes later, the service uh, recovers. And then things are fine for a couple of hours after that, but then we again see a problem around 8.15 a.m. Pacific, and it's the same two locations that are reporting problems. Now, if you look over here at the status by phase, we are seeing connect errors, and connect errors are usually indicative of some kind of infrastructure problems or failures affecting the application or the service or the network. So let's jump into the network visualization and see what's going on from a network layer at this point in time. And as we can see here, we are seeing two spikes in packet loss that correspond with the two application outages that we are seeing. And for this particular spike that happened at about 8.15 Pacific, if you scroll down through this visualization, we are seeing a number of hotspots through the, uh, through the Amazon networks. All of these uh, dots with red circles, they all happen to be inside AWS and inside the Ashburn, Virginia location. And that points to some issues going on at the Ashburn location. Now, the Amazon out outage itself recovers pretty quickly, but we see that if you, look, if you take a look at applications that are running on, on top of Amazon, uh, here, for example, is Atlassian's Jira, right? The application took a hit when the first outage happened, and then I had a hard time coming back and then stayed down for quite some time. And then... Again, when the second outage happened, the application took a hit and then stayed down for a long period of time. So this is the this is the outage with the direct connect that uh, AWS referenced uh, that triggered such an extended outage and failure. If you want to monitor your services that are running on uh, Amazon EC2, uh, give us a call at www.thousandeyes.com slash sign up. And uh, you too can uh, set up these tests and take a look at uh, what's going on inside your application.